Okay, it's way later, you guys. I'm freaking out. I just looked in the mirror. <laughs> this is so random. But it's definitely not from the weight of these earrings. Like, I've had these for a while. But I think this is from... Well, okay. First, I should just tell you. Can you... You literally can't see. I don't know how to describe it other than... I feel like it's not going to focus if I get close enough. But this first earring, I don't know if you can see. I can, like, see the hole that the hole in my ear that the earring goes in while the earring is in and i feel like they get stretched like that from heavy earrings but these really aren't that heavy can you see it yeah you can kind of see it right there i think it's from at one point i didn't wear earrings for a while and i felt like i had to kind of like poke my earrings back through the hole and i feel like it stretched this one out so does anyone know what i should do i don't know why this like literally won't focus <laughs> Maybe in the lighting that I'm in. Oh, there. Can you see it better? Hello. I'm trying to click on my ear. Yeah, you can kind of see it now. It just kind of... Basically, this the first earring hole is getting, like, stretched out. And I feel like I can see it. And I'm scared because I don't want it to get stretched out too much. Like, you hear the horror stories of it, like, ripping or just, like, getting really stretched out. So, how, what do I do? But I swear it's not these earrings. Like, it's not happening on this side, you know? It's just this one. Like, I think I messed up the hole. Like, I damaged the hole in my ear kind of by, like, poking it through the hole that wasn't actually there before I even put these in. This happened to any of you guys. Okay, I zoomed way into my mirror. Can you guys see now? <sighs> like, this is getting stretched out. What do I do? Good morning everyone. It's the next morning. Sorry this vlog is like all over the place, but morning I'm feeling so tired this morning. So I'm just taking a moment. I'm happy that I got up early to like have a moment to myself and so that I can just do my little face mask. Just feel like rejuvenated and fresh and ready for the day because I don't think I said earlier in this vlog. I think I mentioned it on like a podcast maybe. I don't even know where I say what anymore, but basically we are driving to Albany for the day. We're gonna spend the night and I'm really excited to see my mom and my sister again. Brody has like a final vet appointment at his vet back in Albany before he switches to the one here in Pennsylvania. Um, we plan to go apple picking. So yeah, I'm just like really excited for today. But first I'm going to be using my smart mask device from Pareo. This is their UFO. And basically this is just like a little me time for a second. I'm just gonna take this moment to pamper myself. I'm using the make my day mask, if you can see. So basically I just put it on like this. You guys have seen me do this before, but they are just so amazing because it is like doing and like a spa treatment but at home and so you're only paying like once for this instead of like the really expensive spa treatments and basically i just put this on here clip it in into place we are going to start right now this is the red light therapy which is really good with reducing inflammation and just the appearance of like fine lines and wrinkles so you just rub it on your face like this. And then when you get to the cryotherapy, that has a really nice cooling effect. And basically that's really good for the, um, just reducing the appearance of pores, reducing just puffiness in the morning. So I need this right now. <laughs> All right, then when it's done, you obviously can just unclip throw this away and you're all good to go. Just like to rub in the excess to really get all the benefits. Like you are just going to experience like the maximum, I guess, potential of whatever you put on there because it just helps it absorb into like the deepest layers of your skin. And it's really, I just noticed how I have such a glow whenever I use this. And this is such a good tip to mention for you guys. If you didn't know, I love my vitamin C serum. So if I ever run out of my Foreo masks, I can just drop a couple on the side, drop a couple drops on here get it into like the deepest layers of my skin that way so that's something that i can do sometimes and i know you guys can do too if you run out of your masks so yeah that literally only took 90 seconds you guys i just love how quick and easy it is compared to like going to the spa spending so much money or having a sheet mask that has to sit on your face for 30 minutes or whatever you can also i know i've done that where if i have just a normal sheet mask and i don't have the 30 minutes to wait i will put it on here and do my whole smart mask 
routine and that way it just goes a lot quicker and the last thing i wanted to say is if you guys notice this is hyaluronic acid and red algae that's what's in the make my day mask that i just used so basically the hyaluronic acid and red algae is just really good for deep hydration which i definitely need because i have dry skin and it also just helps protect against pollution during the day so it's so amazing there's Brody parking <laughs> he misses me so i will have foreo linked down below i will have the ufo a smart mask device smart mask device linked down below also i can link down below if you guys are interested i don't know if you can see it my luna mini 3 <laughs> this pink one in here um i use that every day like i use it this morning in the shower just to cleanse my face because it really gets my skin so clean and then i can go ahead with any moisture moisture moisturizer serum if i'm doing a mask that day anything like that so yes they'll be linked down below and now i have to finish packing up and we are going to drive to albany we got lucy Hi. we made it home and now we're going apple picking. I'm so excited. Guys, look at how many cars there are. Woo, this is gonna be so fun though. Beautiful. So, Brody's having so much fun. Don't worry, there's like literally no one around where we are right now. So, we have our masks close in case we get close people. But, um, no, I know, I'm saying we have our masks, just they're not on like in this moment, because there's like no one around. But I wanted to tell them that the lighting is so crazy. There is this type of apple that I've never heard before called a radiant runkle. Yeah. And we have one in the bag. Yeah. Have you guys tried that? I don't know if we like that type. But my favorite's gala, and I don't think that's in season. I yet, like the so. macoon apples. Sad. Did you are those on there? No. So I guess we'll see Tough what luck. we get. Guys, guess what kind is Brody's favorite? A golden delicious. Get it? <laughs> Guys, I never had the Jonah Mac apple before, but I think this might be my new favorite kind. Very good. It reminds me of my It's really yum. Are you getting tired out from running around the apple orchard? I'm so happy we found one that you could finally come to. No, don't eat the dirty ones. <laughs> Are you gonna pick an apple? So it's really, really hot out, and um, I'm like melting in this flannel. But I was just taking, I was just talking your vlog. I was just gonna tell them what happened. Gretchen, I was taking a burst of Gretchen when she was on the ladder, and she <laughs> threw an apple, and it hit my foot like <laughs> from so high up. I was like, how? And I was just running down the little row, and I was trying to run and jump and grab apples and I couldn't <laughs> jump high enough. I like took a video of it, but it's on my phone, like um, vertically, unfortunately. Tell them what else happened? That my iPhone. Oh, our iPhone is out of room. We were taking a burst, and it just quit out. It said optimized storage, and then it said it was full. And I have the 512 gigabyte one. I just have like 70,000 photos. It's so. not good. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of looking through to do. Mm -hmm. It's so dark. Oh, there he is. We knew he was gonna be so tired. Look at this face. We took oh, some photos. Candid. And Brody looks like he's literally posing in them. But you guys, were we just saying this? See, I literally can't remember. We were just there. But were we showing them that we were at the Pixie Crunch Apples? Or no? That was our last stop. No, I don't if think we didn't so. tell you. We didn't tell them. And we were like, mm, these are probably like they're whatever. Tiny. They're kind of smaller. They literally are the best ones. So and good. we wish that the whole bag was just Pixie Crunch. Wait, they just like taste so crispy and yummy. Are you oh, sleepy? We have to have oh, wait. <laughs> tell you guys it is a dog eat dog world out there hey, because eat. we were so excited for apple cider donuts mm -hmm. and then we weren't in the right spot at first I was like do you guys even have donuts and she was like across in the bakery and then we went there and I was like where where are y'all's donuts I don't even see them and she was like oh we're all out and I was like what and she was like yeah like they I don't know because it's like almost closing time and they ran out and then she's like well we just have these two single ones right here and we were like oh we'll take, take them like, I guess we'll we share the, the three of us will share the two donuts the four of us <laughs> and the people behind us were like oh you don't have any more and she's like no that's it and then I, I felt bad but 
here. We just got lucky. Let me tell you if they're worth it. They look, look at this cute little guy. Our little jug of mm -hmm. apple cider. Apple cider? Apple that was cider. Called? I think I was about to say it's apple cider like vinegar. Sweet, <laughs> fresh pressed cider. Mmm. Look at him. We're so I'm gonna get your reaction. I just want a little bite. They're really delicious. Very good. Okay, now your reaction. Look at him. Not yours, Brody. Oh. Oh. Wait, just break okay. off that end piece. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Very good. Just chewing on Teddy's bone. <laughs> Did you have fun apple picking? I just wanted to say to you guys that yes. We did end up bringing Brody apple picking because I was saying in my last vlog and like on my Instagram stories how we couldn't find any orchards in Pennsylvania that were like dog friendly. And then I realized why I was so used to growing up um, going to apple orchards bringing my dogs was because the orchards we would go to were dog friendly here. So I'm sure that's why my parents like picked those ones. And I just wanted to say, because I feel like people were getting so like heated and mad at me, like I said in a previous vlog. He is independent and we leave him home a lot in the crate like as much as we feel like is necessary to have him build his own independence and yeah we could have left him for a couple hours at home in his crate he would have been fine but i wanted to bring him apple picking which is why i was asking if people knew of any dog friendly apple orchards in pennsylvania and i think just me growing up with my family always bringing our dogs it was something that like i wanted to do with him and it was like a very dog friendly orchard did i, I think i should sign bowman's and they love when dogs come in so many people are so excited to see our little golden puppy which reminds me i didn't even tell you guys on the way in like i said we had to come for his last bed appointment here and they were so sad to see him go they were like hopefully we'll see you again one day brody because they know that we moved to pennsylvania he is 38 and a half pounds my little baby and he will be five months next week which this is just flying by and do you guys remember when he was like 13 pounds He's such a snuggly mama's boy. And daddy's boy. You love your mom and your dad. And now you really love that bone. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say that. It's like, yes, we could have left him, but also we love involving him in things and bringing him places where he can be social and meet other dogs. And that is also very important just as much as him being independent. And he's so good in his crate because we've really worked on that, so. I don't want you guys to think that we never leave him alone like we do if i'm running errands for a couple hours or you know whatever it is and i think it's like a blessing that i can work from home and be with him a lot and that like i love that because who wouldn't want to spend all day every day with their dogs but like i'm saying i know it's important to leave him alone sometimes and know that we do i'm going to end off my vlog here because Hi. <laughs> Don't worry, he has clothes on. <laughs> well, not a shirt, but pants. <laughs> Why is he barking? He Do you want to go run way. around with Teddy? But basically, it's way later now. It's like past my bedtime. We had a long day coming here. And I just wanted to like chat and be real for a sec because I feel like I'm facing all this like, I don't even know the word. Not like negativity, but just like, what's the word when people are like backlash. backlash? Like people are like disagreeing with you. And I'm like, I was not even expecting this. Like what is going on? So I just wanted to chat for a second like be real like okay i just feel like i'm getting yeah i guess a lot of backlash on instagram like the other day how i keep saying when i was posting about not being able to bring brody like i was upset and i'm sure you guys could really if you had plans and then you found out you couldn't do it like you'd be upset or like ha feel a certain way about it so i think that's normal and then i just feel like people have been so upset with me about wanting to bring brody to an apple orchard or like taking pictures with him there or people saying that like i just got him for not like just got him for instagram but are like do you know what i mean max i feel like this is coming out wrong like if i just wanted a dog for instagram i would bring my little puppy stuffed golden retriever around like i love him and he's like my whole life and i was so tired and like i don't know what i'm just trying to say like i feel like i was so tired this morning having a rough morning and like 
hugging my little man and my BFF makes everything better and I love him so much. So I just don't know why people question that. It's like you have no idea how much he means to me and if I want to take pictures with him for like memories and with Max, like our little family, I'm sure you guys do the same thing. Like that's normal. Like I want pictures. I just like don't know where this is coming from. I think people are just mad that I wanted to bring him to an apple orchard so bad. I don't know if it's different where you guys grew up but Truly, it's just because I grew up with my family, my mom and my dad and my sister, and we've always had dogs, Great Danes, Golden Doodle, and we always brought them to apple orchards in the fall, and they have, I just have some really fun memories, like fond memories of like every fall doing that. It was like a tradition and so much fun, and so I always knew that I wanted to bring Brody. Um, so I don't know why it's like such a big deal with everyone. Yeah, just want to say that. <laughs> Sorry to end this off on like a negative note. I really just wanted this to be fun today. I know I showed you guys like, well, I'm saying getting ready this morning, but I just showed how I was doing my skincare. But honestly, I feel like my skin has had this glow all day. Like once I got here before we were apple picking, I just put on some powder and I just feel like my mask made my skin like so nice today. And then I didn't even show you traveling here. I was just like chilling. Brody was chilling. It was really nice because Max drove the whole way. So I got to just kind of like rest and Brody was like laying in the back. And yeah, I just wanted to like focus on the apple picking because that was really fun. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.